Hi, Pleka people. We've got positive feedbacks from our latest video. Uh, thank you all for appreciating our efforts. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, what are parameters we stick to for breeding Hippancistro zebra and controlling pH level without adding any chemicals. Uh, let's start with water parameters. We consider following water parameters optimal for Hippancistro zebra. Uh, temperature. 86 Fahrenheit or 30 Celsius, TDS uh, from 60 to 80 ppm, pH 6.8 to 7.0. First of all, uh, let's discuss TDS. In fact, TDS isn't so critical. It can vary from 10 ppm to 150 ppm or even more. But bear in mind that low TDS, to be exact, the low level of carbonate hardness can lead to significant pH changes. For example, the pH level can easily fall from 7.0 to 6.0 in a tank with low TDS, where the water hasn't been changed for a week or more. It is caused by accumulating of nitrogen-containing substances from degraded waste products. The pH will be more stable with a higher TDS, but the rate of egg fertilization can go down. There are cases of breeding zebras with TDS 250 ppm or even more, but it's an exception. Eggs develop better in softer water. It's important to know that fish become less active and eat much less with pH 8. If you have been keeping your fish with a pH higher than 8.5 for a week, the fish is likely to die. That's why you should control your pH level. So, how can you control your pH without adding any chemicals? If your tap water has pH 7.5 or more, then it is not the optimal parameter for keeping L46. Uh, in this case, you should install a reverse osmosis system. As you know, ERA water has pH from 6 to 7. Uh, that's why you should add ERA water to a tank uh, until your pH goes down to an appropriate level. Then you should fix your TDS in which your pH is equal to 7. And then, whenever you do your water changes, you should stick to this TDS. On our farm, uh, there are some uh, special tanks where we mix ERA and tap water to get the desired pH level. After mixing the water, we add it to our fish tank. We determined uh, the appropriate pH level for our fish as 6.8 to 7.0 with TDS 60 to 80 ppm. The pH doesn't significantly change during the week even if you don't, don't do any water changes and feed your fish regularly. I think it's better to show you how it works. On the table you can see some tanks with water. There is some tap water in this container and as you can see pH on this water is higher than 8. Uh, let's now measure TDS. 550 um, is too much. Actually, it's not good if you plan to breed zebras. In this tank, there is raw water. As you can see, its pH is about 6. Uh, let's check TDS. It's uh, 32 ppm. In fact, uh, it's not the best TDS for ERA water. I suppose your TDS is much lower, about from 8 to 12 ppm. As I've already told you, you shouldn't use pure ERA water for keeping L46, as pH will vary a lot depending on the amount of nitrogen containing substances. Now we will mix tap and raw water to get TDS from 
60 to 80 ppm. Let's mix it a bit. You should probably get memorizing the appropriate ratio of ARA and tap water. I know that I should add only 50 milliliters of tap water to 500 milliliters raw water for getting TDS from 60 to 80 ppm. So let's check it. Now it's uh, 78 uh, ppm. It's uh, an appropriate TDS parameter. So uh, pH will be also okay. Let's check it. We should add uh, five milliliters of water. and add uh, four drops of indicator liquid. Uh, should mix a bit and uh, wait uh, for 10 minutes. Let's wait. So uh, now pH is seven, you can see it. It's uh, appropriate for keeping and breathing L46. Uh, you can use such water for water changes in your tanks. Uh, as you can see, it's easy. We also made a detailed presentation of the whole process of preparing water for zebras. It can be downloaded by the link below this video. Uh, so thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to put your likes and subscribe to our channel. Bye bye.